Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. My name is Greg Sykes. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you don't mind, please consider subscribing to this channel if you're enjoying it. And when you do, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. So let's get into today's video. So it seems that maybe, just maybe... We are not regretting so much picking up Carson Wentz as our quarterback. Uh, you know, we um, <clears throat> the Washington Commanders franchise had reached out to Russell Wilson, and you know, during the off season, we were all in for Russell Wilson. I know I was. I really wanted Russell Wilson to come here to Washington because. Honestly, I felt that all he needed was a change of pace. I didn't think that Wilson had really lost anything. You know, certainly he could scramble for yards. He knows how to come back and win those those late rally games, so to speak. And, and just, you know, he's been an exciting football player to watch. And, you know, another guy that I felt that just needed a change of pace was Matt Ryan. You know, I really felt that Matt Ryan could have been a good quarterback. And I, I had questioned, why didn't we consider Matt Ryan? Because, yeah, yeah, you know, he's had some issues in Atlanta in the past couple of seasons, but it wasn't that long ago that he was in the Super Bowl. So, you know... I really felt Matt Ryan would have been a good choice. You know, Carson Wentz was honestly furthest from my mind. You know, I, I never even thought about Carson Wentz. Um, for one thing, I felt that Andy would hold on to Carson Wentz. But, you know, I was very surprised when they were willing to let Carson Wentz go after one season, right? And so having said all that we get to last night's game now i didn't watch the game i uh, watched the highlights and I, I read all the stories and it seems that as much that we complain about carson wentz and you know wentz has not had some good games here uh, and that's putting it mildly we may not have gotten the worst quarterback you know who are who was available and the fact is that yeah, we did give up something for Carson Wentz, but we didn't give up nearly as much as what we would have given up for Russell Wilson. And for Wilson to be playing like he's playing right now, I would say that we really dodged a bullet. Um, now, it could be that Wilson still has time to turn things around, but right now he's not hes not doing it. He is not getting the job done. He, he threw up a... I mean, just a duck of an inter interception there in overtime, which gave the, the Colts, you know, the chance to, to go and, and win the football game. And now, at the same time, Matt Ryan was not playing that good either. And Matt Ryan has not played exceptionally well for the Colts. So, you know, when we're looking at Carson Wentz, where, of course, as us as Washington fans, we want the we want our players to perform at their very best. And we realize, yeah, Carson has to improve. He's got to get better. But he has shown some flashes of when he's on, he's on. And, you know, I would say that out of all of the quarterbacks who were available right now, I don't think we would have fared better if we had Russell Wilson or if we had Matt Ryan. Um, you know, I, I, I just don't think so. Um, so, that being said, I think that right now it looks like it was a good move for us to get Carson Wentz. Now, he's going to have to get much better than what he is right now. And... I realize it's not all on him, and I've, I've made a, a video stating it's not all, all on Carson Wentz. I keep going back and, and forth on Wentz because um, I will say he is a lot of what Eagles fans and even Colts fans were warning us about. He certainly is that, but I think he still does have the ability to be the Carson Wentz 
that led the Eagles um, to that Super Bowl year. Now, it's funny because you'll have Eagles fans and even some Washington fans who will be like, well, he's not the one who won the Super Bowl for them. No, but he was having a Pro Bowl season that year, and he played in almost every single game during that Super Bowl run, but he didn't play in the playoffs. So you have to give Carson Wentz a lot of credit for that Super Bowl year for the Philadelphia Eagles. And if you don't, you're just not paying attention to football. But, you know, overall... um, I think Wentz still has it. He's certainly the youngest out of the other guys who that we could have picked up. So I think there's still time to get things turned around for Carson, and I think he will get things turned around. Um, is he going to wind up being a Pro Bowl caliber quarterback by the end of the season? I, I don't know. I just want him to concentrate on getting better right now, and the whole team for that matter, you know, The offensive line has to help out. And, I mean, that's the biggest thing. The offensive line has to help. Um, The defensive secondary has to help. The linebackers have to continue to improve. And, of course, the quarterback has to continue to improve. So, there's a lot. And coaches, right. I'm not going to leave the coaches out. The coaches have to improve. They have been horrible. And I think Ron Rivera knows it. So, that being said... What do you think of the comment section? After watching last night's game, if you did watch last night's game, do you have a change of heart about Carson Wentz? I think I do. I, I go back and forth, and if we lose again on Sunday, I'll probably be hard on Carson Wentz again. But until then, I think maybe we didn't get the worst quarterback that was available. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Again, if you enjoy this video, like this video, share it with your buddies, subscribe to this channel if you possibly can. Uh, It's free, so you don't have to pay for it. Um, And hit the notification bell, just so you know that there's going to be videos coming out here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. And also, um, I am trying to get my uh, Patreon page cranked up. Right now, it's only $3. It's $3 to support this channel a month from Patreon. Um, that, you know, any of your support goes in back into this channel to try to improve the content, the quality, um, whatever. I just, you know, could use your support. You can support me in other ways as well. Um, and I'll show that to you now. Can't seem to get out. But